So we have something unique available in a custom room community from some time related to nothing OS uh, style custom room. You can say this is now having nothing OS 4.0 vibes. In case you don't know, nothing OS 4.0 just released few days ago, and we have a new clock styles there. And that is now present with this custom room. We are talking about Xian AOSP. I made a video several times on Xian AOSP previous updates already, where you have a lot of nothing OS features available in this case. So as with this new update, this is Xian OS 2.1. Now it is rolling out officially stable for many devices. And as you can see, uh, we have a lot of clock styles available. All those clock styles are inspired from nothing OS. And you have this new clock style available too, including that if you need more widgets on your lock screen, you can enable them definitely. You have two styles available to, uh, to just simply get these clock, these widgets on your lock screen small style or basically a big tile style all these options are available here for you to configure some of these things are just so good you also have the option to even further customize it but it's totally up to you if you move on to other things for example let me show you one more thing which i missed in my previous video is regarding recent panel it is actually a different one as compared to many other custom rooms we have this new recent panel available and in case you don't know the latest QPR1 update, which is obviously not available in a custom room yet, you have this kind of new recent panel available there. Other than else, the default launcher has the similar features like we have the option to enable blur, by the way. So that's actually good. I'll let you know how the blur is looking like. Everything else is just similar, just common. We also have the option to even further customize the search bar provider. You have the option to turn off the search bar on your home screen if you don't want that. But if you want that, you can even customize it further if you need Brave Browser search bar, search bar or not. We also have Quick Settings Panel tweaks and if you're able to see the blur behind Quick Settings Panel, it looks just so good, so premium. A lot of things are available here, you can even resize the tiles and as expectedly, so there's nothing unique about this one. But yes, obviously some of the things are inspired from nothing was in Quick Settings Panel also, the slider, the tiles, the network and Bluetooth tile and so on. We also have some changes, some tweaks related to game space. If you are a gamer, if you do gaming, if you love game space features and so on, then definitely this is a worth it. You have to check this out for sure. You can go and check this out in the game space settings. Enable that, enable it in the game settings, whichever game you are using. Like in, in my case, I'm not using any games. I don't play games much. So I'm just showing you as an example how the UI is looking like, which are the features you are getting. You have the option to enable or disable FPS info and so on. There are many things available here, so definitely go and check that out. Everything is available in the game space settings regarding this thing, actually. Other than else, what else we are getting uh, with this custom room is quite similar, quite simple, nothing unique, but the features I've shown you already are just so good as compared to many other custom rooms. We have the power of verify option available, which right now is available in other custom rooms also. But the feature is actually so useful, useful and it is available in this custom room already from some time now. We have the support for app lock and this app lock is also inspired from nothing OS as far as I know. So definitely it has a lot of goodies from nothing OS. So definitely if you are a nothing OS fan, if you love nothing OS, but you do not have any ported ROM available or so on, you cannot experience that for any reason you can definitely try out Xian AOSP on your device. We have some options and customizations related to sidebar available here too. If you want to use it, you can. I personally don't use it much. We have gestures option available, which also brings you shake gestures. If you use shake gestures, if you love gestures on a device, then in this case, we have the option for that also. And the three finger swipe gestures as expected. It's not only about three finger screenshot. It has a lot of other actions too, which you can perform on a device. If you don't need three finger swipe screenshot, you can choose three, three finger swipe gesture for anything else. We also have some experimental features, which brings you performance mode, which brings you security bypass features like ignore windows secure flags. That is a must have feature option to hide the developer status option to hide the app list. All those things are also present in this case. Status bar also have now padding options available. So you can adjust the left side padding, top and right. Everything you can adjust on your devices. It also brings you spoofing options in this case, which brings you key box and so on. But one thing is actually missing from here is regarding play integrity. It is not having the option, the ability to pass strong integrity by default, but definitely you have the option to do so. 
with the help of key box and by routing your device and so on so yes this is it these are things just wanted to let you know i hope you like this video if you like this make sure to drop a like and i will see you in the next one until then take care